Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Nikki Newman intends to check herself into a suite at the GCAC and attempt to drown herself with alcohol. Although Nikki is determined to return the vodka, it will not provide the desired relief from her anguish. Rather, Nikki will get even more irate with herself and everything that has happened with Jordan as a result. Nikki will be an emotional mess and rip up the room in a fit of rage since Claire Grace is still missing. When Jack Abbott arrives at Nikki's door, though, he will demonstrate that he is both a loyal sponsor and a considerate friend. Despite her initial efforts to bar Jack from entering, Nikki will eventually give in and allow him to witness the devastation for himself. Jack will prod Nikki to open up as soon as he glances around and sees she's gone crazy in there. Nikki will experience the worst kind of spiral out of control, yet when she most needs Jack, he will be there for her. During the week of April 29, May 3, according to Y and R teasers, Jack will go above and above to assist Nikki. Jack will undoubtedly take extreme steps to save Nikki, but what does it really mean? It could lead to some problems if Jack ends up spending the night in that suite with Nikki. To begin with, Jack is staying in Nikki's room, so you can know Diane Jenkins Abbott will be furious if he doesn't return home. Given how much alcohol is in her system, Nikki will obviously be weak and unable to think straight. It's easy to envision Nikki kissing Jack, since she feels like he's the only person on the globe she can really rely on at this moment. Being the kind of man who wouldn't take advantage of a woman in that situation, Jack would definitely put an end to Nikki's inebriated kiss. Not only that, but Jack appears to be content with his marriage to Diane and just harbors platonic affections for Nikki. Nevertheless, because Jack and Nikki are no longer together, things may get complicated. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Jack will face some repercussions following his rescue of Nikki. This could indicate that Diane will declare she has had enough and chastise Jack for allowing Nikki to rule his entire life. It's possible that Jack will feel compelled to update Diane if Nikki does go too far when kissing. The news won't go down well if that's the case. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Diane might feel that some adjustments are necessary, therefore will be bringing you predictions on how Jack's actions will impact his marriage. According to Y and R spoilers, Michelle Stafford had to remove something horrible from her pool recently. She documented the entire terrible experience on camera and posted it to Instagram. Stafford faced the difficult task of using a net to remove the drowned rat and placing it inside a garbage bag. Since that wasn't an easy process, the issue turned out to be rather humorous, especially when Stafford's movie included some interesting music. Viewers were undoubtedly curious to see what happened because Stafford was seen giggling and struggling during her little journey. Even though there is always a lot of upheaval in Gino City, this drama around the pool cleaning gave us a funny glimpse into the true life of Michelle Stafford. When comparing hashtag rats in a pool to hashtag snakes in a plane, Stafford posted a caption, which she then instructed her followers to enjoy. As Stafford attempted to get rid of the rat, Many of us did indeed enjoy watching all the pool shenanigans. A commenter made the observation that having a dead rat in the pool was preferable to one that was running around the home. In response, Stafford acknowledged the user's assertion to be correct. After Phyllis had once placed an octopus in Christine Blair's bed, someone else even made the joke that perhaps Christine Blair was the one who dumped the rat there. Elizabeth Hendrickson, who seemed to believe Christian Leblunks could have helped if he had been present, was among the other co-stars of Stafford's Y and R, who also offered their opinions on the predicament. Oh my gee hee gee. Did you ask Christian to do it at the last minute? That would make for a fantastic part two, Hendrickson added. Stafford responded to that by laughing. Regarding himself, Greg Rickhart admitted that he would have been zero help in this whole pool disaster. 
it was a crazy experience and a great Instagram post, even if Michelle Stafford acknowledged that the rat was having a bad day. Regarding what's in store for GC, our forecasts indicate that Phyllis has a few plot twists that could potentially impact Chancellor Winters. Stay tuned for updates on any potentially surprising announcements. Phyllis always has another plan up her sleeve, according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, so be on the lookout. A new preview clip for the week of April 29, 2024, has been published, according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless. Ashley Abbott is shown attempting to woo a therapist. Inside the tack home, Cole Howard discovers a clue. Jack Abbott barges into the messy room belonging to Nikki Newman. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless. Y and R spoilers for the week of April 29th, Belle Abbott's brothel, indicate that Ashley's Southern Belle persona has surfaced. Belle had already thrown herself at the lounge bartender and pianist. Ashley previously disclosed Belle's desire to seduce her buddy, the French therapist Alan Laurent. Belle will keep up her mischievous behavior in the meanwhile. Belle tries to woo Alan in the teaser video. At that point, Belle and Ashley are reminded by the French therapist that they are merely friends. Y and R teasers, Cole Howard's hint. In the week of April 29, fans can anticipate that Cole will discover a clue. Victoria Newman and Cole will discuss Claire Grace, who is still unaccounted for. Cole is seen holding a doll while speaking in the promo clip. Cole informs Victoria that there is something inside the doll after taking a quick glance at it. Will Jordan have installed a covert recorder there, or may it hold information about Claire's whereabouts? Spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Jack Abbott's break spoilers for the upcoming week of April 29 on The Young and the Restless indicate that Jack is also featured in the promo clip. Nikki may be seen stymieing herself against the entrance. Nikki eventually has to make room for Jack as he pushes his way inside. Jack is shocked as soon as he walks into Nikki's room. The location is utterly destroyed. The week of April 29, 2024, why and R spoilers. It's obvious that Nikki has resumed drinking because she destroyed her own room in a fit of wrath fueled by alcohol. What should Nikki do? And will they ever locate Claire? Nikki is unaware that Victor Newman missled both her and the other people. Although Victor stated Jordan was dead, in reality, he is keeping her in a house jail cell. This is sure to lead to catastrophe. What would happen if Jordan left once more? In the week of April 29, 2024, which narrative are you most excited to see? What do you think will happen to Jack, Jordan, Claire, Nikki, and Victor? For Cole, Victoria, Ashley, Allen, and the other citizens of Gino City, what does the future hold? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.